sun, searching for a longer day. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Birds chirping and I hear my name. Grasping into a life. Life is happy but it's so insane. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I will be doing a review of the 7.5 kgs samsung machine please subscribe to my channel to help us grow and you're very very welcome to view this video and like it if you like this type of content so um the samsung 7.5 kgs machine is a very effective washing machine i have used it for two years now and one thing i like about this machine is that it gives you effectiveness and it gives you um value for your money so as i'm showing you if you can see clearly it is an active dual one okay so as i'm showing you now um this one has is an active dual wash and it uses wobble technology it is 7.5 kgs meaning the drum size is 7.5 kgs um the wobble technology is very effective in protecting your fabric and ensuring that you have clean clothes and literally everything you'd want so this is how the function area looks like i have uh, one two three four five six functions so the delicate wash i also use it to wash the machine itself so you can use that to clean your machine you can use that just long press it then you have one for blanket, another one for jeans, another one for uh, stocking when you want to stock your clothes. It's very, very good, especially for white ones. Then you have a quick wash and uh, just washing your clothes very quickly. And then we have the normal that everyone uses. It's very easy to use. Just press it and it goes all the way. So, well, for the normal using, literally, that is what everybody uses. It's what I also use a lot. And then you have the power button the pose and the start button so when you want to start washing after you put your clothes and you're ready to go ahead you uh, you press the start button okay so the start button also you know again we also have the water level and we have that one for draining and uh, it also indicates when you're serving water or not and then um the wash one for there's the rinsing one and the one for spinning okay so for washing usually i mean this thing's just you can rinse as many times as you want and uh with that one is also used for tread lock so you long press it for three seconds or you hold it for three seconds and it locks the machine in a way that your child or your toddler or anybody else cannot come in open the lid because it can be disastrous Okay, so that is the drum, which I'm saying is 7.5 kgs. It can hold as many clothes as you want. But again, this one is just for, <laughs> we usually call it the I am single washing machine. It is um, 7.5 kgs, the drum itself. Then we have the, where you put your detergent. It has two sections. So I usually use one for detergent and another one for a disinfectant. So... I don't use bleach, I just use uh, the other types of disinfectants that you can use. Then we have this softener dispenser, it's quite, a, it's quite small, I don't know if you can see that. That's where you put your softener, the down knees and the soft hairs and all that. And then again, I also have the filter. This one is removable, so it means you can remove it and you can wash it it is called the magic filter it's very very effective it um, traps all the dust from your clothes all the things that are not needed the lint name it goes in there and you can wash it you can remove it and wash it meaning that every time you're washing your clothes you're supposed to remove it 
supposed to wash it and take it back and it is also uh, you can also open it for effective removing of the lint that has been collected so it is a very very effective lint collector so I'm just returning that there and um, I also have this um, on the side I've forgotten the name so uh, it's a water jet yes it's a water jet you press behind there on the side and then the water from the cabs on the other side <laughs> I've forgotten the name I've literally forgotten the name of that thing but let's just call it a water jet okay let's call it a water jet it's very 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 good for when you want to soak clothes so where does the water jet go the water from the water jet goes i have this inside i don't know how to call it as well so this one you can use it for soaking your clothes especially and see i'm showing you that is where the water comes from this one is very very good for those of us who have kids and probably want to soak their socks or their panties or their boxes or anything so you just put them in there and you soak them or if you want to pre-wash just to remove um, stains or anything there is the it is quite rough so you can rub your clothes on it just to pre-wash it if you don't want to do the hand washing thing plus you can also use it to hand wash by the way and then the water goes into the drum you don't have to remove the water it goes inside the drum which is quite which is for jeans and blankets and uh, that other one so I'm just showing you the time so we have the rinsing time uh, washing and also spinning so yes that one is for spinning so you can spin four times or for four minutes so when you press blanket it sets for you because this is an automatic washing machine so it sets for you the water level it sets for you the washing time like this one sets for you the water level is 4 then the washing time is 16 uh, the rinsing time is 3 and that one is 5 that is for spinning you spin for 5 minutes and then we have the delicate is just at 5 minutes that means it sets for you the lower one set for you the upper ones don't the upper ones the moment you have to set the water level so once you've set the water level it sets for you the time to wash and everything again i will show you that is like 35 minutes for all the delicate wash meaning it washes for five minutes it rinses twice and spins for just one minute because you're washing delicate clothes you don't want to you don't want to spoil them you don't want to spoil the fabric and everything so when you press the normal one it doesn't show you 
it doesn't choose for you you have to choose for yourself that means you have to um, set the water level so once you've set the water level it will set for you the time that you need to that you'll be using to wash for example and then uh, the water usually just comes so I'll show you from this is just a demo how I do it so I'll put in a few sheets and um, demonstrate okay so I'll put in a few sheets and demonstrate so I've put in I've loaded the, 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 the drum and then now I'm going to put uh, the detergent I'm not using uh, a disinfectant today and then I'll put in my downy <laughs> I got this one for 179 it was on offer so why not so I put in the downy and then you close it and then you set so you have water level because I'm washing the sheets I usually like using but be three the level of water to be three so when you put three it shows you the time that you're supposed to wash that is 16 minutes washing but I don't want to wash for 16 minutes again you can wash for up to 30 minutes okay you can wash for up to 30 minutes and then I just want to wash for 10 minutes because they're not really that dirty and then you can rinse for the rinsing I want to rinse it once or twice let me say but this one can rinse up to five times and then uh, for me I just want to rinse maybe one let me say twice I think twice is just okay and then uh, you can spin for 30 minutes with this one when you spin for 30 minutes with this one all the clothes will just come out dry 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 but I don't really like spinning for 30 minutes so I'll just spin for maybe for two, one minute just to have them a little bit wet to avoid uh, having lint on the bed sheet that means I'm going to wash for exactly 46 minutes and then I press start so the moment you press start the water starts coming in you see and when the water comes in it comes in from that side that means it dissolves the detergent for you especially if you're using powder detergent it dissolves it for you so that you don't have residues in the machine so that is where the water comes from comes in through and then you see when you don't press um, pause when you're opening the lid it indicates that it's an error just like I've shown you that means that every time you want to open the lid to add laundry or anything you have to press pause so when you pause it does not show that there's an error or anything so what happens is you just open it and put the other laundry that you want to put or check if you need to check something just press pause and then you can open the lid while the machine is still running otherwise if you do that without pressing the lid it will show that it is an error like you can see I've pressed pause I've paused there's no water coming in it is still the, the minutes are not counting the machine has literally paused okay and like I'm showing you so it, it's very good to do this thing because it can also prevent uh, things like being shocked getting electric shock and all that so I want to show you this again where the water from the water jet comes in where you can pre-wash your clothes so you press the water jet you lift you put in the other inside lid and then you can put your clothes there you can wash your clothes here you can stock them here you can literally do everything here and then the best thing about it is that you don't really need to like worry about um, washing the clothes and, 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 and soaking or pre-washing or any other thing you're doing because the machine can literally do both things that means you can wash you can press uh, your start button so that you can continue washing and then you will continue washing inside and soaking on the upper part okay so let's remove the water I'll show you how to get rid of that water so you just don't need to scoop there's no need for you to like scoop the water from, from there you just lift the lid and all the water goes into the drum how nice very very nice I just like this about it you know so let's just um, 
close this and uh, continue with the washing i think up to there we are good so we are still washing for 46 minutes the water is still uh, you see the water is still going in and it indicates when you're washing when you're just washing it indicates and then when you're rinsing it also indicates so it kind of blinks and then it shows you that i am washing it shows you that now i'm rinsing and after every rinse it spins and uh, in this case it will be spinning for one minute or something and then we do then we do let me just wash i'll show you how it washes so you see it has already started counting the minutes which is very very nice it has already started counting the minutes so now we have washed up 10 minutes and as I told you, it now shows that you're dancing. that it is done washing so you can just come and remove your laundry so let's remove our laundry here um, you will see that that is how it looks like when it's done spinning and um, it's it's the, the, the laundry is almost I think it's almost dry so when I'm spinning for one minute it's almost dry so imagine if I had spinned it for like maybe two or three or four minutes it's 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 so it almost come out dry so that's it for today thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe